Before we continue, we need to save your sources so that you can access these um, even if you don't have your browser open anymore. So I think the best would be to use printfriendly.com. This use this works for most websites, um, not for every single one though. So what you do is you copy your whole URL and you go and paste it in this um, box over there and click on preview. And then it generates a print friendly page. You can then click on PDF. Oh, and let me just show you before we do this, if you go down here, what's quite nice is if there are adverts and things, you can click on things to remove them. So you see if I hover over it, I can just click on the bin. Right, but it seems like all of it's here. The only thing that's a problem for me um, is it seems like it's not showing all the information. So here's like an updated date and it doesn't show here. So I think I still need to take a screenshot of this front page just for myself and maybe just go and paste it somewhere so that I have the information that I need. So I'm going to say PDF and download the PDF. Now this I'm going to show in the folder of downloads and I'm going to go and cut and paste that in my pet folder. It's very important to actually paste that in your phase one sources folder because that's the proof that you have the source. Okay, do your next page. I actually hope I find one now that doesn't work because I want to show you what to do then. Um, let's just refresh this page and see if we can start over. Come on. Ah, just click on the logo and then you can start over, preview. Ah, also works. Okay, if you find one that doesn't work, um, I'm not going to yeah. carry on trying until I find one that doesn't work now. See if you can find something on the page where there is a print button. Otherwise, what you can do is, while you're on the page itself, press Ctrl P. And now you need to be careful, please, in your class. Uh, don't print to the class printer. Make sure that you set the destination to save as PDF. Most browsers should have this. And then check that all your information is visible. It'll probably do, do not look as neat as the other one, but you should be able to see most of the information. And you can see if you want the pictures as well, you can usually switch on background graphics and then you can see the pictures as well. And then you can go click save. And then it actually asks you where to save it. And then you can go save it in your sources folder. Save. All right, so please go save all your sources. And if you see it leaves out critical information like a date or an author, I would suggest that you actually save a screenshot of this. You can use your snipping tool to do that. Um, so you can find that under your Windows accessories. Snipping tool, otherwise just search for it in the menu. New, just take a screenshot like that and press save. And I think just go to sources and just save it as source one as well. Just so you have that information at the top. Okay, before you close all your sources, just go and open those PDFs. Let's just check now. And see on the page somewhere that it actually has the full URL. Yes, that one has the full URL. Let's check this one. Yes, there's a full URL, so I can actually go back to it if I need it. That's good.